Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Sally, and welcome to 2022. I hope that you guys had a lovely Christmas and you did get to have a little bit of a break as well and see some friends and family. It was a bit of a weird one. I spent it in isolation and Sam also spent it in isolation. So hopefully you guys did manage to have a lovely time. Um, but we are back now and I am here at Sam's flat with Sam, obviously on the camera, and we've got Nikki as well taking photos. And we thought today, we'd bring you another mindful recipe because it's been a little while since we've done one and it's January we're all feeling a little bit sluggish so it's a great time to kind of go back to basics and do something simple so today we're going to show you how to make a chocolate granola and this is something that you can eat for breakfast and it's great because it's really delicious but it's also super nutritious because I don't know about you but I don't really give breakfast any time in the morning and temptation is to just grab a bit of toast drown it in butter slather it in marmite and shove it in and although that is really tasty and it feels kind of good when you're tired it's not actually giving you that much goodness <laughs> to get you through the day. So making a granola is something you can make a massive batch of and it's just there ready and you just need to add some yogurt, some berries and then you've got a really super quick breakfast that's gonna set you up till lunch. Um, and now why this particular recipe? So I've made granola for years and years and years. I always kind of have it in the house. Um, but Laya at the Crumbs and Doilies bakery gave me this recipe a few months ago and it's a chocolate granola and everybody knows how much I love chocolate so if I can eat chocolate for breakfast like winning <laughs> it's really great and I know you can go to the store and buy loads of different types of granola but making it yourself means you can put whatever you like in it and it's also so much tastier so I'm going to show you this recipe and of course you can find the full list of ingredients in the description box below but I'm going to give you a few kind of extra options as well different kind of nuts and seeds that you can put in there if you want to kind of mix it up a little bit and remember that you can join us over on patreon.com forward slash cupcake Gemma to join our bake club where you can get your hands on a full downloadable version of this recipe and all the recipes that we put here on YouTube. So let's get on and make our chocolate granola. So we're going to start off with some grains and for this we're going to be using some oats and some puffed rice. So oats first Everyone knows what oats are, you can get them pretty much at every store you ever go to. And the other great thing is if you are gluten-free, you can find gluten-free oats everywhere now as well. So I'm going to start with 100 grams of oats and they're just going to go into a nice big bowl. I normally make double, triple batch of this, but it's a bit chaotic, so we're just going to keep it small, but you can make loads of this, no problem. Next thing we've got is puffed rice, which looks like uh, rice krispies, um, but without the sugar. <laughs> so this is just straight up puffed rice, and it, don't worry, it's going to be yummy, I promise. <laughs> um, but you can get this in the kind of breakfast cereals or in the kind of free from sections in your local supermarket as well. So we've just got 50 grams of this. And this is going to give us a lovely kind of texture in our breakfast. So we'll just mix all of that together. And next up, we're going to go for some nuts. Nuts are amazing because they are full of really good fats, lots of fiber, lots of proteins, delicious. So I'm going to start with um, flaked almonds. In total, I'm going to use 200 grams of nuts and you can use whatever nuts you like for this. I like to have the flaked almonds. So we've got 100 grams of these. And my favorite nut, obviously, is the pecan. So I've got 100 grams of these, and I'm actually just gonna chop these up a little bit just to break them down so they're not so chunky. So they kind of spread through the granola. Okay, so I'll just put all of those in the bowl too. And whilst we've got the chopping board, let's do our Coconut. So this is kind of optional because I know a lot of people don't really like coconut, but I think it's really adds a great flavor, especially with the chocolate here. So this is 60 grams and this is like um, flaked coconut, coconut chips, is it? But these ones are quite big, so I am just going to give them a little chop as well. You could use um, desiccated coconut if you can't find this stuff. And it all like... This is loads, this is like 60 grams, but it's absolutely heat. So all of that's going in there. And lastly, we've got some seeds. Now seeds are 
amazing. Seeds are a superfood, obviously. I mean, not obviously, but seeds turn into plants, and plants are pretty complex, right? So they are amazing. So in total, I've got 100 grams of seeds, and again, you can use any seeds you like. I've gone for a sunflower seed and a flax seed. I've gone half and half, so 50 grams of both. And they're gonna go straight on in. And before we stir this together, we're gonna add our cocoa powder. So this is our chocolate element. So it's not like actual chocolate. Cocoa powder is pretty good. It's got lots of kind of health benefits in it as well. So we've got two tablespoons of good quality cocoa powder. And we're gonna chuck that over the top. Get my big spoon. And we'll just start mixing this together. Okay, so before we add in any liquid to bind this together, I am gonna pop in a teaspoon of sea salt. Now, I know that everyone thinks that salt's bad for you, but sea salt is nay bad. <laughs> it's actually got lots of minerals in it, and salt does bring out all the flavors in your food. So, I would recommend using it, but I would highly, highly recommend using a sea salt rather than a table salt, because that stuff is just pure sodium and isn't very good for you. Anyway salt lecture over, let's get on with our liquids. So I'm using two liquids. I'm gonna be using 100 grams of maple syrup. So we'll pour all of that over. And before we get mixing, we're gonna add in some coconut oil. So I've got 100 grams of coconut oil that I just melted, because when you buy coconut oil, it's kind of solid. Unless you live somewhere hot, it's probably runny. So again, 100 grams that I'm pouring over here. If you don't like the coconutty taste, I would say that you can't really taste much coconut from the coconut oil, but if you really don't like it, then you could just use another flavorless oil. And then on top of that, we're just gonna pop in some vanilla because vanilla makes everything better. So I'm actually gonna do two teaspoons of a good quality vanilla extract, which remember you can get your hands on this one. <laughs> I turn it around, <laughs> that you can get from cupcakegemma.com. It is the one that we've used at the Crumbs and Dory's Bakery for many, many, many years. And now it is time to just stir all of this together until all of our grains, our nuts and seeds are coated in liquid. Now that is looking pretty amazing. Mainly because it's got chocolate in it. <laughs> So now it's just time to bake this. Um, it's gonna take a little while. So I've got my oven set to 140 degrees C, so quite low, and we're gonna bake it for somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes to really give time to all the oats and the seeds, give them time to kind of toast and crisp up. Mmm, yummy. So I've just got this massive baking sheet here. And like I said, if you wanna make like a double batch, which I usually do, um, you just want a couple of baking trays loaded up, even if that means you have to bake one tray and then put the other one in afterwards. It's so worth it. So just spread it out. It doesn't need to be too thin because what we're going to do is set our timer for, I'm going to say 45 minutes, but after every kind of 10 to 15 minutes, it's going to give it a little stir around, a little shuffle to make sure that all the grains are being kind of toasted evenly. So. Let's go into the oven with this. So once your granola has completely baked, you just want to leave it to cool down before putting it into some jars or some Tupperware containers and that's where you can store it for a few weeks. But I guarantee you will not be able to keep this for more than maybe one week. <laughs> I've just been stood here kind of nibbling on it and it is just so gorgeous. Like I know it does look a little bit like or cereal, because it is cereal. <laughs> but it's really delicious, and the whole kitchen smells amazing. We've even got another batch in the oven right now. So there was a bit of a debate about how you load up your bowl. Sam was saying yogurt first. But I'm so totally a granola first, because 
That means more granola. So this is how I like to serve mine. A lot, I'm putting a lot in there. <laughs> and then I've got some yogurt here. You can use any kind of yogurt or if you're vegan, then of course you can use a yogurt alternative. And then I like to top it off with some berries as well. But you, again, you could use any fruit. It's just a great way of getting a whole lot of goodness into your body before you head out for the day. So, here goes. Mmm. Mmm. The chocolate just makes it feel like you're eating pudding for breakfast. Right. Why wouldn't you want that, honestly? It's really delicious and it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. You've got a little bit of salt in there, just kind of cutting through that. But it's really, really delicious. I really hope that you give this a go. Try changing up your breakfast for a little bit and let me know how you get on. Um, or if you're putting other stuff in it, then I want to know what you're doing as well. Send us all your photos over on Instagram and use the tag hashtag Cupcake Gemma so that we can see and share all of your photos. We really, really look forward to baking again with you this year. We've got loads of fun stuff coming up uh, for you guys, as well as working on that studio that we have just got our hands on and it is still currently empty, although we've got a beautiful pink sofa arriving this week. So it's just going to be this amazing open space with a bright pink sofa in the middle. So you come and hang out with us there. You can find more about that over on Patreon. I'll put the links to that in the description box below. But we'll see you next week. I think it's Gemma. I think Gemma's going to be here with you guys next week. So she'll see you then. Mm.